Hey guys, Khali from Cricket Fanatics Magazine here with another episode of The Daily Show where we talk about major talking points in South African cricket. And basically, I just give you a daily video of something that interests me in the cricket world. We are thinking about doing some different types of videos down the line. Let us know if you maybe want to see me react to certain videos, maybe some highlights of the pro tiers or maybe some highlights of different videos, etc. We can make this, this show a little bit more fun. I want you guys to be involved and tell me what you guys would like to see. But in this particular episode, there has been talk about, obviously, our national sides being back in camp and back in training. There's different camps that were run across the, the last couple of weeks. We know about the Proteus culture camp that went took place with a squad of 32. There's also been some women's training camps, high-performance training camps, etc., that are helping our women get back into training and back fit again and hitting the ball again and playing the sport that they love and we all love. So what I decided to do today is to get someone that was a part of those camps, a part of the women's training camps, on the show and allow them to express what they went through and what it was like to be on those camps, lessons that they learned. So without further ado, here's Vaitana Cliff. She's going to tell us a little bit about what it was like to be on the Proteus Women training camps. So hey Faye, how's it going? I just want to chat to you about what it was like to be in the Proteus camp, obviously, and doing it, being in, together in a training camp, obviously with so many stars that you looked up to before as well as yourself. Um, what was it like over there? Can you maybe give me some of the lessons that you learned on this camp? Um, yeah, so this this camp was it was pretty good. Um, pretty much just seeing where we're at with our, our fitness and our skills and and um, those types of things. And a lot of the players are going to the Big Bash now. So we were pretty much prepping them and giving them some game time and middle time because we did um, we played many games, like inter-squad games. Um, then had a couple of meetings. And, um, yeah, I mean, this it was really cool to see um, just the level that I feel like we're, we're stepping up now, um, really, to compete. I mean, the World Cup was moved from January next year until um, twenty twenty too so um just sort of seeing that we can take that step up to like genuinely compete with the best of the best and um this camp it was it felt long it was exhausting we were busy for for most of the day um but it felt very professional um so it sort of was just good to see what it what it takes to really step up and be as professional as possible so this this camp was very sort of player versus player orientated like we would have net sessions, whereas our previous camp we didn't have we didn't have net sessions because we were split because there were still strict um, protocols with COVID. Um, this camp was very competitive between players, so we there was a squad of twenty four of us up there, and um, we played inter squad games. So it was twelve versus twelve or eleven versus eleven, and then obviously switching. Um, so it was cool to sort of practice practice your skills against um, other players because I mean for the co the past couple of weeks we've been against like a bowling machine or a coach throwing or something so it was really cool to see how our our skills had stepped up through lockdown or maybe not stepped up I mean I feel like my skills from the net to the middle to the middle like that transfer was a little bit sketchy um, but yeah I was very sort of player versus player orientated rather than coaches throwing at us and being very technical so it was a little bit little bit of freedom that we could work with there and just play to our strengths or just um experiment a little bit against bowlers which is cool yeah what's nice about this is that because you guys are professionals and you are obviously the first people to go out there and actually play the sport um for the youngsters that are maybe haven't had a chance to. And obviously, just like all professionals and all sportsmen, they've had to take a break because of COVID-19 of playing the sport. And you would have had that hunger building up inside of you. I mean, you spoke about um, in your column with us, you spoke about um, COVID-19 and how you had to deal with that. Coming back into cricket again and having to be able to be have that competitive mindset, is there some tips that you can maybe give some youngsters out there that might have the opportunity in the future now to get back? How do they get um, out of that rustiness of... of not being able to play the sport for so long so my advice would actually be to play freely i mean i was at um i was at my private coach and one of the other coaches was there and i was so tentative in the way that i was playing because it's almost as if i wanted to make sure my technique was still there and he just said Faye, 
stop being tentative just hit the ball like get the rust off the chains and you know sort of just break away and allow yourself to make those mistakes so then eventually by the end of the session i'm just slogging the ball and like just doing whatever i needed to to get that on ball so i'm not saying that kids must go out and slog and and stuff like that but just enjoy it because it's easy to get to the first practice and think oh you don't look like you've lost your form um but the 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 realistic part of it is that I don't think anyone is going to come back and be in perfect form. So really just get that on ball, just enjoy it. Um, and for bowlers, my biggest word of advice is to warm up properly because you're going to hurt after the, after the first training session, <laughs> the next day is going to, going to be sore. And lastly, just from a mental point of view, obviously we know that you're going to go, go through some sort of mental challenges. Coming back, you might be a bit rusty. You might be not hitting the ball like you did before COVID-19. You might not be putting the ball on the spot consistently like you did before COVID-19. From a mental perspective, how did this camp help you guys with regards to that? Was there a lot of emphasis on that side of the game? Yeah, so our, our first camp was definitely a lot more technical and really just fine-tuning or getting back to that um, fine-tuning. I mean, like, if bowlers were hitting a, a 10 cents before COVID, now maybe they're hitting, like, mm -hmm. something that's a little bit bigger, like a coaster or something. So <laughs> also just allow, allowing that leeway uh, with yourself. Um, yeah, and muscle memory is, is an amazing thing. I didn't think that I would actually get to where I was at this quickly or maybe I'm still just a little bit below but I mean I'm getting there um and mentally I think I was sort of prepared for that so I sort of said to myself I'm gonna be I'll be kind to myself and give myself that grace because I can't expect to be perfect after three months of not picking up a cricket bat or a ball um so it's really just giving giving yourself that grace and saying you know what your skill is you know what your ability is so just work towards that um but don't expect it straight away it's like being it's like fitness you can't expect to be at the top of your game when you've sort of haven't really been doing as much as you could so it'll get there and um give it time because i think everyone is taking time at the moment i mean nobody's yeah. been practicing religiously throughout lockdown so it's just allowing yourself that time and any lessons you learned from your peers around you i mean obviously it's a star-studded um squad <laughs> yeah <laughs> um it's definitely that like hard work hard work pays off and um i mean it's it's evident you know the people that have been re working really hard at their fitness and i think lockdown was a really good opportunity for a lot of the girls to work on fitness uh, i know it was sort of one of my main things because if i couldn't have cricket then at least i would keep my fitness up um yeah and these girls have been working super hard on on their game and i mean you have the likes of of Kapi and and Sune and Laura um, and they're just like they seem like they're always top of their game but they'll come out the nets and sort of think oh that that didn't feel good but then you look at how they played and you're like what didn't feel good about that because it looked amazing um, but they work so hard on fine-tuning these little things I mean you'll see Laura play a perfect cover drive and then next thing she'll say oh that wasn't a good shot and you're like I would pay so much to play a cover <laughs> drive like that um yeah so just that that persistence that they have and that um they're working super hard at the game and it's paying off so yeah so guys thank you for watching this those are some of the lessons that they learned it's really great to know that they were working on their mental game that they were working on their skills and the, some insights into how they approached it we also heard some great tips from young cricketers out there and what they can do when they get back into training once again and how they can approach it don't forget to download the latest issue of the magazine. We are launching the magazine at the first Monday of every month. There are two issues currently available. If you subscribe now, you will get an email notification on when the next issue is out. So please do that right now. The link is on the screen and in the description. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys very, very soon.